Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Nate. Hope you are having a fantastic Friday or Saturday or Wednesday or whatever day you're watching this video. Hope you're having a good one. And it's only been two days since my last upload, but my god, a lot has happened in those two days, hasn't it? I mean, the Chinese stock market dropped another 7% again. Uh, El Chapo got captured again. But more importantly, what I want to talk about today is Oculus, because in those past days, Oculus has announced that their new Oculus Rift virtual reality headset will be made available and begin shipping out to the general public starting March 28th of 2016, which obviously is the most important of those stories, right? I mean, screw the Chinese economy collapsing and like billions of dollars being lost. I forget that and forget El Chapo getting captured. No, no, no. Today, virtual reality is the big thing. So obviously this launch is going to be a pretty big deal because it marks the first time that really anybody other than a very exclusive group of people has had access to these VR headsets. And of course, maybe you've attended an expo like E3 or Gamescon or something like that. But odds are you haven't had a chance to try one of these puppies out. So it's going to be pretty big. And Oculus has been marketing itself as the, as the real headset that's going to be making VR accessible to everybody. Now, there's one little bit of a contradiction, and what contradicts that statement is the price. The Oculus Rift will be priced at $600. Oh, I'm sorry, $599. And that is a lot of money. That's, uh, that's almost double what they initially said they believed it to be. Oculus initially said that they thought the price tag would be somewhere around in the ballpark of $350 when they had their Kickstarter. But now $600, almost double that huge sum of money, especially for an entertainment product, right? I mean, a console like the Xbox One, PS4, those cost more. Most people spend a little bit less on laptops in general. So $600, huge amount of money to be spending on an entertainment product. And it seems like that's going to be very discouraging to someone that hasn't already been following and been interested in VR yet. Because and now I, I, like, I'm going to use me for an example. I've taken a, a huge interest in this since I heard of its launch in 2012. I've been following it. I've been watching reviews. I've been looking up every bit of news I could. But th that's me, right? And I want this thing. I am going to do what I can to save up and buy it. But that's me. Uh, take, say, say there's a guy named Frank out there. Shout out to you if your name's Frank. But say Frank over here, he doesn't care. He hasn't been following VR. He's like, yeah, my, my kids want a toy to play with. Oh, 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 they want this Oculus Rift. Oh, that looks like cool. $600? No, right? That's that's going to be the expression on so many people's faces. And not to mention, you're probably going to look like a bit of a jackass when you put this thing on, right? I mean, it covers up your entire face, or at least your eyes, which are incredibly important to intimacy, and you're just going to go home and sit there. So, so say Frank comes home from work, right? I mean, he's got five kids just talking to him, annoying him. His wife is nagging him. He goes into his office. He puts on his goggles, and he just sits there for 45 minutes. He's going to look like a jackass. Which is, um, which is something that I think is a little underestimated, because that's very anti-social almost. Because with consoles, it's like, hey, hey, Matt, you want to sit on the couch and play Xbox with me? With with a virtual reality headset, it's going to be, hey, Matt, you want to look at me? Just stare blankly into these goggles for half an hour? It's going to be it's, it's gonna be interesting. I want to see how that plays out. But I'm going off on a tangent. I digress. $600 is a very discouraging price tag for anyone that hasn't already been following this. And even if you have been following this, as in the case of me, th that price tag is still very discouraging. And I personally have been saving up for a VR headset since I heard of their launch. I've, I, I've been really excited about this, and I had money put away. I had, I think right now I had like $200 in my, my de facto uh, VR fund, which is also acting as, as a savings I occasionally draw from. But that price tag is discouraging as hell for me. I think because of that price, I'm going to wait a little while longer. If it was priced at $350 or even $400, I probably would have bitten. You know, I'd probably be like, all right, screw this, I'm buying now. But at its current price tag, that's going to be something that I feel like I'm, I'm going to have to wait on before I make a purchase of that magnitude. Because the way I see it, the Oculus Rift has two potential, um, two potential results after this launch. One, it can take throughout of the PlayStation 3 did, right? It, it launches, and due to its overprice and its low quality, it just fails miserably and is swept away by the competition. Option number one. Option number two, the more favorable of them, is that the Oculus Rift launches, and despite its large price, it is considered the go-to best experience in VR. It's $600, but that $600 hopefully will be worth it, you know? And that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that that $600 isn't really going to be worth it. And of course, we have other headsets coming out. Um, Sony has their Project Morpheus. I talked a little bit about that before. That's going to be releasing sometime relatively soon. Maybe that'll be better if the Oculus Rift fails. Maybe it will take its place. 
Um, also, Microsoft, the Xbox HoloLens. Oh my god, that looks amazing. That is something I definitely want, but Jesus, it's probably going to cost a lot of money. And, ju and just imagine the future and the potential that these products have outside of the entertainment industry, right? Um, medical field, surgeons can train with these. Airline pilots can train with these. Oh my god, the United States military is having a big hard-on right now, probably hearing of this. There's a lot of potential in VR, but at the moment, due to the Oculus Rift's price, I fear that um I, I fear that, that 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 potential and that future for VR may not be in the entertainment industry as previously as previously um predicted. And if it does, it seems like it might take a little bit longer than I thought because a six hundred dollar price tag is um it is something that suggests the company probably doesn't imagine this thing is gonna blow up. You know, I I, I can name very few six hundred dollar products, say for like a fucking iPhone. That have um that have blown up massively without really any prior substantiation. So I'm interested to see where this goes. I'm interested to see what future, if any at all, VR has in the gaming industry. Seeing as we're, we're we're right about there, we are about to enter the future, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what it brings. Thanks for watching, everyone. My name is Nate. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll leave you guys to it. Bye bye, everyone.